Introduction Dear friends, do you know on which planet do we live on? That's right. We all live on a small blue planet called Earth. We see living things such as trees, animals, as well as non-living things like cars, buildings, ponds, lakes and mountains around us. All these things are found on our planet Earth. In this module, you will learn about the Earth and what it consists of. Objectives At the end of this course, you will be able to Describe various parts of Earth Define waterfalls Identify hills, mountains, lands, valleys and plains List various methods to save our Earth Friends, we live on a planet called Earth, which is round in shape, just like an orange. It has a sky above the oceans, filled with water below. We breathe in air and drink water daily. But do you think that we can live without air and water? No, it is not possible. Our Earth gives us air and water to live. It also gives us land to make roads houses and buildings to live in and work, and parks to play around. The air, water and land are three major parts of our Earth. Now let's learn about these parts of Earth in detail. At first, let's talk about air. Air, as we know, is present around us everywhere. It contains gases, water particles, which are also called as water vapors and dust particles. Animals and plants breathe air to live. Now let's know about the water. We all drink water when we are thirsty. All the plants and trees need water to survive. Like plants, animals also need water to live. The common sources of water are wells, ponds, lakes, streams, rivers, seas, and oceans. Friends, do you see the beautiful waterfall? Wondering what is a waterfall? Hmm, actually the water of river or a stream falling from a height like a mountain or a hill becomes a waterfall. Friends, now look at this. This is a lake. A lake is a large water body surrounded by land. Land is that part of Earth's surface that is not covered with any water body. Plains, hills and mountains are the examples of land. Come, let us learn about them. Friends, Hills and mountains are naturally raised parts of the earth's surface. But now look here carefully. You will notice that a hill is smaller than a mountain. An open field or land with even surface is known as plain. Now let us understand what a valley is. A valley is the land mass between two hills or mountains. A valley may be flat, V-shaped, or even a U-shaped. Now let us move on to a very important topic, save the earth. Our earth supports our lives and we all must save it. To save our earth, we should not pollute land and water by throwing waste into them. We should not take bath in rivers and ponds. We should maintain green lands by planting more and more trees. We should not kill wild animals as they are very important for Earth. Summary Now let us recap what we have learned so far. We all live on planet Earth. To survive, we need clean air to breathe and clean water to drink. 
Our planet Earth provides us with land, water and air. Land is the part of Earth which is covered with soil. Air is present all around us. Mountains and hills are raised part of Earth's surface. The land that is flat is called plain. A valley is a land between two mountains or hills. The Earth supports us to live, so we must all protect it.